Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys? I am so happy to be here with you today. I am bringing you a really fun treat holder. Um, this is a nugget cellophane bag and it's a mini one. Isn't it so cute? And I've used the tailor-made tags. I've used the smallest tag right here um, for this. And I'm going to show you how to make this really fun bow with our metallic um, in-color ribbon the 2022 to 2024 metallic in color ribbon. Um, we're also using the black and white designs paper DSP from our mini catalog. So check that out. And um, let's go ahead and get started. Scary Cute is our main focus stamp set. And um, let's do this. So I'm gonna put this in the corner. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, the paper that I'm using is the zigzag print from the design paper. So this is one by three inches of DSP and one side is white and one side is black. And we are gonna do one of each. I have a piece of um, cardstock that is two by two and a half and we are gonna score that. And then I have, of course, our cute little tag now, the cello bag that I'm using is one that I have already. Um, it is 2 inches by 10 inches. And if you want to purchase the 2 inch by 10 inch, they're actually quite a better deal than the 2 by 4, which is what I recommend that you cut this down to. Um, these are made for like pretzel sticks. And you can get them on Amazon. Um, they are two by 10 and I think you can get them like in 300 pieces for, you know, fairly inexpensive, um, under $10 for sure for like 300 of them. So you can make a ton of these. Um, I think they also sell them in lesser quantities and then I just use them for a lot of different things. And then this, you can also purchase them as a two by four inch, which is what we need. It's just a little bit more, um, expensive to get the smaller bags than it is to get the longers and just cut them down. So, I mean, that's what I'm doing. That's what I, I have a bunch of the two by tens. I use them in my business. And so we're going to just cut it down. So I'm sticking it in my trimmer here. I'm putting the sealed end on the four inch mark. And I'll just move the score blade out of the way. And we're just going to Give it a slice and there's my little four by two and this trash or you can save it and use it for um shakers right so your choice let's get my paper trimmer out of the way we are going to score our basic black two by two and a half inch piece next so i'm going to get that ready let's get my simply scored out of the way sorry for my squeaky chair but i think it's famous now on youtube because I love it. It supports my back per perfectly, but it is a little squeaky. So we're going to score this a quarter inch on all four sides. So a quarter inch is two of these little tick marks. So you're going to go in two tick marks and you're going to score. And you're going to try and stay in the track, unlike what I just did there. Then you're going to rotate and do it again. And rotate and do it again. Rotate and do it again. Okay, so that all four sides are scored. Now we're going to take this and we're going to use our bone folder. And we're going to burnish, which breaks down the fibers. So I highly recommend that you burnish. It just makes it a lot easier to fold and get your paper manipulated into the size that you want it. Okay, so that's what we have. So now we have, you see each of these corners has a little tiny square. And so what we're going to do is we're gonna hold it where the it's long or portrait. And we're gonna cut right up these score marks. We're gonna rotate it so that it's again portrait. And so these now are tabs and the tabs are gonna go in and then this is gonna get glued like this. And it's gonna make a little tray. Okay, so let's do this thing, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna take my wet glue and I'm gonna put it 
on the tab and I'm going to turn it in and hold it. I'm going to do the same thing right here. Hold it. And this is forming my little tray. I think I cut on the outside of that score line because it's sticking out, but that's okay. We can fix it. There we go. All right, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're just gonna put and attach that corner and then one more. And if it's uneven, just trim it like how I did because it happens. I think I cut on the wrong side of the score mark because all of mine are a little crooked and my first one did not do that. So that's okay. I'm gonna show you how to fix it if you do that. If you cut on the wrong side of the score mark, or you can just tab them. So you wanna just trim down the side here and then just make sure that it is um, straight down this end and it meets on the other side. And so sometimes you have to trim a, a smidge off, but that's okay. Um, you just wanna make sure that it is nice and lined up and that way you will get a nice look all the way around. And this one has slightly. All right, that's enough before I cut it away. So this little tray that I have made, let's grab all my little scraps off of my mat here on my desk. Okay, so then you have this cute little tray, isn't it so cute? And then the nuggets fit in there, see? So precious. So I have one of each. So I have a milk chocolate and then I have a dark chocolate with almond. So I'm going to use my scrap paper. As you can see, it was, it was already loved very nicely. <laughs> so I am going to take the white and I'm going to use my Orchid um, Oasis Light. I'm going to use the brush tip. And I'm just coloring it and then I'm gonna go over it twice and then I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side I'm gonna go over it twice and then I'm gonna let it dry and on this side we're using um, par parakeet party or light granny apple green it is slightly different but whatever you have and again, we're gonna use the brush tip. And I want it to be nice and dark, so I'm gonna go over it twice. I need to replace my Granny Apple Green um, blends because I do use them so much and they get a lot of use and they are getting frayed and low. but I just wanna double check and make sure that this is nice and colored, that it's the dark color that I want. And it is. All right, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna give the orchid one more pass through. So, I'm gonna try and hold it and do complete passes down the whole piece so it'll be all the right color. And I'm gonna rotate it and hold this side and do complete passes all the way down to kind of even out that coloring. And I mean, you can just keep going over it and get it as dark as you want it or leave it as light as you want it. So there is my Orchid Oasis side. And so we're gonna wrap these around. And I'm just using my tear and tape. So I'm just gonna flip these over. And I'm gonna put on one side. And I know that you're supposed to tear it, but I'm not going to, I'm gonna cut mine. But you can tear yours. I'm 
right, so you have it on two ends on the back side. Put away our tearing tape. I don't know why mine came in such a big bag, but it did, so. Okay, let me make sure that this is glued. Don't want that to come off my little tray. Isn't this so cute, this tray? I love it. So now we're going to wrap that um, piece all the way around. So we're going to go to the, um, what do you want to call that? The, um, the Hershey Nugget. You're going to go around it. Okay. And so if you take your bone folder and kind of give it a little curl, it helps it to wrap a little easier. So the um, green one is gonna go on the um, silver and the blue is gonna go on the gold. So I'm just gonna pull the back off. I like to use my take your pick tool to kind of lift that up. I'll do that one as well while I have it out. And come on, get down there. Sometimes you have to push it a little hard for it to lift, there we go. So these two pieces go into the trash. All right, so the silver one is gonna get this. So I'm gonna just um, hold this down in place, the side without the sticky, the sticky's right here. So I'm just gonna hold it down and then I'm gonna wind my paper around my nugget, try and get it even. And then the sticky part is going to stick to the paper, not the nugget. And then that holds it in place. So there's the one. And again, the sticky part's up here. So I'm just gonna hold it over my nugget. And then I'm gonna wrap it around. And then I will just join that onto the paper. So again, a one by three. And then we're gonna put these in the little tray so cute, I love this. Okay, and we're gonna slide this little tray into our mini cello bag that we have made by cutting down or purchasing this size. You see the four inches is plenty because then we're going to um, cinch this together at the top. So there's the four inches. So now let's stamp our little trick-or-treater we're gonna use Orchid Oasis for him. He's so cute. And I'm gonna put him down here. I'm gonna actually lower this so I can see what I'm stamping. Here we go. Put him in the bottom part of my tag. And then I'm gonna clean and then I'm gonna flip because I have him on the same block just for ease. And then I have my boo, which is the words that I will be doing. And those are in Parakeet Party. So cute, right above his little head. There's the boo. And then we're gonna take our um, marker and we're gonna go around the edges. I'm gonna use the bullet tip this time. And I'm just gonna do on the outside edge of the little stitching or dots that are there. I love that we can use our blends to color on our cardstock, not just to color in images, but to do things like this with our die cuts. I'm gonna go around twice, I think, to darken it a little bit. So that was my first pass. Let's do another pass all the way around. And there is my little, my little guy, he's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love him. All right, so this is gonna get attached when we um, close our cellophane back. So I clean that. That can go away. Hopefully um, you're still with me. So I have the um, two colors of 
metallic woven ribbon that are the 2022 to 2024 um, metallic ribbon. And so what I am doing is I'm gonna hold them together, okay? And I'm gonna put three fingers together. I'm gonna kind of hold this like this. And if you need to use four fingers, you can. My hands are rather large and I, I, I open my fingers some. So four fingers would be fine. And you wanna go around so that you have um, two full turns, okay? And then when you bring <clears throat> the one that's frayed here, you have one full turn, then you're gonna bring this one around, okay? And then you're gonna cut, you're gonna cut right here on the side. So I'm gonna grab my scissors. I'm just gonna pass my fingers, okay? So then I'm gonna take these two pieces right here and I'm gonna actually slide them off. But you see the part that is longer? You're gonna wrap that around and see how it's making kind of a loop in the center? See that loop there? my thumb is. You're going to take these two ends and you're going to stick them through that loop that you made. Okay, here they are. And I'm just going to pull and you pull that tight and it cinches and holds your loops and then you have this really cute little bow. And I like to leave that little end so that it has kind of a tail on both sides. You can trim it after you're done, but see what a cute bow this makes. So now I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna curl up my parakeet party and I'm gonna use the um, orchid. And I'm gonna cut about six inches. Okay, and then I'm gonna wind it up and put it away. Both of these little guys need to be put away. And then we're gonna use that six inch piece to go around here, okay? And we're gonna make a knot. So you're just gonna kind of cinch it right in the center and make a loop and tie a knot right over that center, okay? And you're just gonna pull it tight. And then this is what you're gonna use these two ends to secure your little bag closed, all right? So this, we're gonna cinch and then we're gonna tie it with this piece right here that we just cut the six inch piece, all right, to the back, and then we're gonna cut that off. So before I tie it, I wanna make sure that I put my tag on here, right? So we're going to come from the front to the back. That will put the bow, see right there in the center of my tag, which is what I want, okay? So from the front to the back, this, this is what we're gonna tie with. So I'm gonna cinch this up. And if you don't wanna hold it, you can use your reverse action tweezers to hold it for you, okay? And you're gonna take your bow, you're gonna put it on there, and then you're gonna flip to the back and you're just gonna tie a knot and then another knot, so a double knot. So there's one. And once you have this cinched, see how it wants to spring forward? So don't release that piece. You have your second knot ready, but you're gonna cinch that real tight and hold your finger there. You've already have your second one ready to go. And then that will grab. And then you're gonna go ahead and release your piece. And then you're gonna slide the cellophane bag or the knot that you made in the back down your cellophane bag to the bottom and then just make sure your tag is down and just twist your bow in place and 
if you want to move the knot over you can to the center there there you go and now these pieces that are in the back that we use to tie that closed i just trim them away short like this so that they can't be seen we'll discard, discard that right there and there is your cute little mini nugget cellophane bag What do you guys think? So easy, so quick. I think it's a great project. And again, we used the scary cute bundle and the tailor made tags. So let's put those there. And here is our, um, our other one. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this project. Hit the notifications there. The the subscription so you get notifications of when I post new videos. I will have lots and lots of treat packaging. So if you love treat packaging, you've come to the right place. Um, definitely check out my YouTube live, which will be um, my live stream, which is every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. And I hope that you will join um, where you can chat live with me. And um, thanks again for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. Share the video to your Pinterest if this is something that you'd like to make later. That way you can find it easily. And I will see you tomorrow for another cool Halloween treat package. Thanks for being here, guys. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Happy stamping!